I grew up around a lot of murders, dudes getting beat up and jumped, a lot of drugs, a lot of poverty. Probably about 10, 11 years old, you know, you just learn how to just hustle and how to get your money. My whole frame of mind was, I don't care who I had to stump over to get what I needed to get, I'm gonna get it. One of my friends, man, is in jail now for murder, killing a cop. When I first came over to Omega, like uh, probably about four of my partners had got murdered in the streets. And I thought I was like, next. I definitely think they're alive for free prescription. All the way around, it just changed my whole life all the way around. When I start reading about my history and about who I was as a young black man, I start having pride in myself. I didn't want to have my pants sagging. I didn't want to sell drugs. I didn't want to misrepresent my people or myself. College went well. I think I probably ended up on the Dean's List every time but once or twice. The first time when I really felt like, oh, I can do this, this is not that difficult, and I put my mind to it, like it was over, like I just went hard. Deprogramming happens with me every day. Every day that we sit down, I'm talking about things that you can do opposite of what the world didn't taught you or what the streets didn't taught you. You know, I'm married, I have two wonderful kids, I just bought a house last year. I used to believe in getting it fast and easy. Now I believe and working hard and doing it like the slow way, like for real, slow roasting. But I think that that's what life is about.